Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Uh, Governor of Missouri, Mike Parson, basically signs into law, basically protecting Second Amendment right and keeping local and uh, state government with basically collaborating with federal government to basically infringe on people's Second Amendment uh, gun rights. And I think this is a good thing. And it looked like he's a Republican. It looked like this dude had a career in law enforcement. And I think that's good because, you know, um, a lot of times with the, with the Democrats, they've had this thing really about having God complexes, you know, deciding what's best for everybody because you don't like something you think is not right for everybody. And they've been a long advocate of trying to take away people's rights to bear firearms. And it's kind of funny, for some reason they claim to be the friend of the black man and the black woman, but then a lot of them have passed more laws that have hurt and harmed black people. You know, and this is something that I've been saying about California. The Manfred Act, I keep saying, needs to be challenged. You know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it needs to be challenged. And... You know, uh, people, somebody need to file a federal lawsuit against the state of California, you know, because they've been clearly infringing on people's Second Amendment rights. From them telling you you can't have certain kind of weapons to certain type of uh, magazines to certain type of ammo, they've been clearly playing God, overseer. And that's the problem. What I'm thinking about doing what I'm thinking about doing is I may call like a town hall, not a town hall, but I may bring in some people just around the country and talk about, you know, uh, you know, weapon laws, you know, especially if you in an open carry state, you know, and I don't care what color you are, you know, if you down, let me know, you know, let me know. I'm going to try to see, see, can I bring stay ready and a couple of other people on, um, because we definitely got to talk about this. Like I said, I am a strong advocate for Second Amendment rights. And I've been telling the, you know, the brothers and sisters to, you know, arm themselves. And I'm glad a lot of them been listening too. And it was funny. They said last year, weapon sales in the black community went up by like 70%. Then all of a sudden, when they started looking at them databases, here they come with these oh, we need to do deeper background checks and all that kind of stuff. At the end of the day, it don't matter what white boy, what white woman, what non-black, you know, shoot up a school, a church, a bowling alley, or a movie theater. The only people they worried about having weapons is black people. And I ain't saying no damn black and brown. Real talk. But real, real talk, if you're interested, um... I'll leave my uh, email and then, you know, hit me up and we'll see. Can we set something up or you can leave your email in the comment section and we'll take it from there. This is your boy, Tell Biz. I'm out.